This video will show the creation of a collagraph print from the beginning to end. By making graphite paper, I'm able to transfer my drawing easily. Once the paper is totally covered with pencil, a piece of tissue can be used to smudge the graphite left behind evenly over the entire surface. Simplified Collagraph is a printmaking process in which materials are applied to a rigid surface such as cardboard, mat board or wood. This is referred to as a plate. In this case a piece of mat board is being used. It has been coated several times with polymer medium to seal it from solvents, ink and water. The drawing is transferred to tracing paper and trimmed to fit the plate. The graphite paper is then used to transfer the image to the mat board plate. The graphite paper can be saved and used over and over and can be recoated with pencil as needed along the way. The drawing is then outlined with permanent marker to make it easier for masking and trimming. Masking and trimming out areas allows for the application of mediums, in this case modeling paste, which adds texture to the plate. Applying modeling paste with a coarse brush leaves texture behind that will catch the ink when the plate is printed. Here shows isolating areas of the plate so when the modeling paste is applied, there is a definition between one portion of the plate to another. This is repeated several times to cover most of the plate. The texture left behind by the coarse brush will catch too much ink when printed so the modeling paste is sanded down to a smoother surface, being careful not to overdo it. Although it's not shown here, the plate, once the modeling paste is dry, is sanded down between each application. Modeling paste takes several hours to dry, so it can take a couple days to complete this procedure. Carborundum, the grip found coating sandpaper, is available in loose form. Here I'm using 320 grit and applying it to the plate with white carpenter glue. In this case the glue has been tinted yellow so it's easier to see. The carborundum will catch more ink than the modeling paste, creating darker areas when printed. In this case I'm using it for the shadows. There are many ways to create collagraph plates, including pasting cardboard to the plate for more definition between surfaces. I've used this method here and I'm preparing the extra piece to be added to the plate. As you see here, I'm sharpening my X-Acto knife with a sharpener stone 
Besides keeping the blade sharp, it extends the life of the blade. Again, I'm using modeling paste to create texture. As you can see here, the texture is quite thick. Once again, it's sanded down between coats. Besides sealing the plate, polymer medium is used here to add a highlights. These areas will appear lighter when printed. And applying carborundum to define the shadows. I use white carpenter's glue again to paste the piece to the plate. Once the plate is dry, it's ready for the press. The printing begins with carting the ink onto the plate and trying to cover the plate without leaving too much behind. The plate is then wiped with Tarleton, a starch cheesecloth to remove any excess ink. The starched weave of the Tarleton catches surface ink and leaves the ink behind in the grooves on the plate. And finally, phone book pages are used to remove surface sink and to clean the edges. And now it's ready to go on the press to be printed. And the final print.